hey you beautiful people welcome back to my channel on this video i will be telling you how to choose the right paint colors for your home here are 20 points to consider when choosing the right paint colors for your home point number one determine the hour wall wood or ambience you want to create in each room point number two consider the natural lighting in each room and how it may affect the paint color. Point number three. Take into account the size and shape of the room. Dark colors can make a, a room feel smaller. While light or light colors can create a sense of space. Point number four. Consider the purpose of each room and choose color they align with its function. For example, Calming blues and greens for a bedroom are energetic yellows for a home office. Point number five. Think about the existing furniture, fixtures, and decor in the room and choose colors that complement or enhance them. Point number six. Consider the color flow and crevices between different rooms. You may want to create a firm's color scan throughout your home point number seven take inspiration from your favorite artwork fabrics are nature for color ideas point number eight use color psychology to select colors that evoke the desired emotions in each room for example blues and greens are often associated with comments and, relax and relaxation Point number nine, take into account the architectural style of your home. Traditional or historical homes may align themselves to different color players than modern or contemporary spaces. Point number ten, consider the temperature of the room. Warm colors, example, reds, orange, yellows can make a room feel cozy while while cool colors, example, blues, greens, purples can create a more can create a more serene atmosphere. Point number eleven. Keep in mind the the future social value of your home. Digital colors are greenery. Separate choices if you plan to sell your property. Point number twelve. Just spend service on the walls before community. To a color. Colors can look different under different lighting conditions. Point number 13. Consider the understones of the colors you are considering. For example, some whites may have a warm or cold understone that can affect the overlook. Point number 14. Determine the level of contrast you want in each room. High contrast can create a blurred, can create a bold and dramatic look, while low contrast can result in more subtle and cohesive appearance. Point number 15. Take into account the psychology, the psychological effects of color. For instance, red can systemize appetite, while green can promote a sense of balance and harmony. Point number 16. Consider the orientation of the room. North facing rooms may benefit from warmer colors to contract cool lighting, while south facing rooms may require cooler colors to balance evident natural light. Point number 17. Think about the long term durability of the paint. Some colors may show wear and shear more easily than others. Point number 18. Keep the trim and architecture details in mind. Decide whether you want them to fill in or stand out with contrasting colors. Point number 19. Consider the effect of different fin finishes. Large finishes can reflect, in, can reflect light and create a sense of opulence, while matte finishes and adapt and riches to a room. Point number 20. Consider color trend forecast. I seek inspiration from interior design magazines and websites.